This video is on two step equations and it's a quick review. So generally with two step equations, you have a combination of addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So maybe division and addition, multiplication, and subtraction, division and subtraction, some sort of combination. So for instance, you might have the equation negative 20 would equal 3x minus 2. So we want to undo minus 2 and multiply by 3. And so we're going to undo in the opposite order um, that they would have been done in. So you, if we were doing order of operations, we would multiply and then subtract. But for this equation, we're going to do the opposite of that. So you must do addition, subtraction first when it comes to a two-step, then undo multiplication and division. Now, the only exception to this, well, I hope is, is when the multiplication and division are part of a grouping symbol. Okay, and we'll get to an example like that in a, in a second, but let me show you what I mean by that. So if you see like the whole expression being divided. When you see that in the equation, you actually have to multiply by that 5 before you can subtract a 3, because I need to get rid of that grouping symbol. Or if you have some parentheses, you're going to get rid of those first in the equation. All right, so generally we're going to undo addition subtraction first, and then multiplication division, unless that division or multiplication are, are part of a grouping symbol. So for number 1, I want to know what number when I multiply it by 3 and then subtract 2 gives me negative 20. So I'm going to think opposites. I want to get rid of the 2 first. Remember, we always get rid of numbers that are on the same side of the when we the same side of the variable. And we want to move towards the variable. So we start with the 2 and then we move towards the variable and then we get rid of the 3. Also, whatever we do to one side of the equation, we have to do the other. So I added 2 to get rid of that minus 2, and I get 3x. So I also have to add the 2 to the left-hand side, and I get negative 18. Now all I have left is a one-step equation. I'm going to do the opposite of multiplying by 3 and divide by 3, and I get x equals negative 6. I got canceled, I got canceled. Add 2, divide by 3, and I get negative 6. Remember, you can always substitute your solution in to see if it works. 3 times negative 6 is negative 18, minus 2 would be negative 20. So I know I did that question correctly. Again, I add the 2, and then I divide it by 3. Let's look at example 2. Here, I want to know what number when I divide by 2 and subtract 7, I get 9. Again, I'm going to get rid of the numbers that are on the same side of the variable. So I want to get rid of the minus 7 first, and then the divide by 2. So I'm going to get rid of the 7. I get x divided by 2 equals 16. Again, got rid because that 2 was only being divided um, the only the x is being divided by 2, it's not part of a grouping symbol, I'm going to get rid of that subtraction first, and then the division. So, got rid of the subtraction by adding 7, that's cancelled. Now I have x divided by 2, 9 plus 7 is 16. To solve this, I'm going to multiply by 2, that'll cancel these two, and I multiply by 2 on this side. So I get x equals 32. And again, I can check my work. 32 divided by 2 is um, 16. 16 minus 7 is 9. Right, let's look at example 3. I have x plus 11. So I want to number what no I want to know what number when I add 11 to it and then divide by 8, I would get negative 3. So if I was solving um, this if I was actually doing the operation, so I was adding 11 and then dividing by 8, remember, you have to do what's on top before you can divide. 
So I have to do the opposite. I have to divide and then do what's on top. Because remember, we're undoing the, uh, we're un, excuse me, we're undoing the order of operations. All right, so I'm going to multiply by 8 first. So I'm going to multiply by 8 on this side. And on that side, these 8s cancel. I get x plus 11 equals negative 24. Subtract the 11, and I get x equals negative 24 plus negative 11 is negative 35. So unlike example 2, where I added and then multiplied. For number three, because if I was doing the order operations on that, I would have to do what's on top and then divide by eight. When I go to solve an equation by that, I would multiply by eight and then subtract 11. Okay. All right, one more example. Sometimes you have, um, a fraction and I want to, we want to talk about that. So I want to know, want to know what number when I multiply it by negative one half and then add a nine to it. So nine minus one half X gives me 15. So I want to get rid of the nine first and then I'm going to get rid of that multiplication. So I want to get rid of the nine. It's a positive nine. So to solve that, I'm going to subtract the nine. So that cancels. 15 minus 9 is 6. I have this minus here that I need to take care of. It's going to turn into a negative when I bring it here. So this minus sign becomes a negative. Notice I did not subtract 9. Oh, sorry. I did not add 9 to both sides, even though there's subtraction there. Because to get rid of a positive 9, I have to do the opposite of that, which is subtract 9. To get rid of um a fraction you're going to when it's multiplication to get rid of that you multiply by its reciprocal so i'm going to multiply by negative 2 over 1 multiply by negative 2 over 1. that gets rid of that fraction because this these cancel so i get x equals negative 2 times 6 is negative 12 divided by 1 is negative 12. Again, you can substitute your um, solution in. Negative 1 half times negative 12 is a positive 6. And then the 6 and the 9 would make 15. So I knew that right. So two sub equations think opposite of the order operations. So I'm going to do addition subtraction first and then multiplication division, unless you have an example like three when the whole thing's being divided. So I need to take rid of that eight first by multiplying and then subtract the 11. 